Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Gaurav Dhawan Lal with the news at 9. The headlines NDA government has initiated several development projects during its tenure to uplift all sections says Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates and lays foundation stones of a slew of projects in Bihar and Jharkhand Prime Minister says fire raging in the hearts of people over Pulwama attack is raging in his heart also government withdraws security cover to five separatist leaders in Kashmir BJP committed to make Assam free of illegal immigrants says party president Amit Shah India and Iran ask Pakistan to punish terrorists for recent separate attacks on security forces of the two countries and in cricket Indian skipper Virat Kohli maintains top slot in latest ICC test ranking Jiteshwar Pujara holds to third position Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the NDA government has taken several development initiatives in the past four and a half years for the upliftment of all sections of society. The Prime Minister was addressing a rally this afternoon after unveiling a slew of projects pertaining to health, education, water supply, and sanitation in Hazaribagh district of Jharkhand. He inaugurated three medical college buildings through a remote in Hazaribagh, Dumka, and Palamu. He also laid the foundation stones of four 500 bedded hospitals in these districts besides Jamshedpur. Mr. Modi said these colleges will improve medical facilities in the state. Jharkhand duniya ki sabse badi health insurance scheme Aishman Bharat PM Jai ki shuruaat ka sakshi raha hai. Dumka, Hajaribagh aur Palamu mein medical college ka udgatan हमारे इन्हीं प्रयासों का परिणाम है इन मेडिकल कॉलेजों से युवाओं को यहीं पर मेडिकल पढ़ाई का विकल्प तो मिलेगा ही साथ में स्वास्थ्य सुविधाएं भी बेहतर होगी मिस्टर मोदी लॉन्च थ्री रूरल वाटर सप्लाई स्कीम्स इन हजारीबाग एंड वन इन रामगढ़ He also inaugurated a women's engineering college building in Ramgarh and laid the foundation stone of the Center for Tribal Studies at Acharya Vinoba Bhave University in Hazaribagh. Earlier in the day, the Prime Minister inaugurated and laid foundation stones of various infrastructure and development projects worth 33,000 crore rupees in Bihar. He laid the foundation stone of the Patna Metro Rail project at a cost of over 13,000 crore rupees through a remote at a function at Baroni in Begusarai district the prime minister laid the foundation stone for medical colleges at Chapra and Purnia and also for the upgradation of the government medical colleges at Bhagalpur and Gaya speaking on the occasion mr modi reiterated that the nda government was giving a lot of importance to the health sector mr modi said work is going on for establishing another all india institute of medical sciences aims in the state besides the existing one in patna medical college ko upgrade kiya ja raha hai iske alawa bihar mein patna aims ke alawa ek aur aims banane par kaam chal raha hai in sari suvidhaon ke viksit hone ke baad bihar ke logon ko गंभीर बीमारियों के इलाज के लिए बाहर जाने की आवश्यकता कम हो जाएगी The Prime Minister also initiated construction and dedicated a number of projects in the oil and gas sector worth over 15000 crore rupees. He also launched work of several development projects of civic works, clean Ganga mission and railways. Paying homage to the martyrs of the Pulwama terror attack, Sanjay Kumar Sinha and Ratan Thakur from Bihar, the Prime Minister said, the fire that is raging in the hearts of people over the incident is also raging in his heart. Patna ke shahid constable Sanjay Kumar Sinha aur Bhavgalpur ke shahid Ratan Kumar Thakur ko bhi shradhangli deta ho, unke parivar jano ke saath apni sammedhanai vyakta karta ho. और मैं अनुभव कर रहा हूं आपके और देशवासियों के दिल में कितनी आग है जो आग आपके दिल में है वही आग मेरे दिल में है दिस इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो गिविंग यू द न्यूज 
For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at the rate AIR News Alerts. Namaste. Mere gaon ke yuva ab khub tarakki kar rahe hain. Poochho kaise? गांव के जो युवक युवतियां पढ़ लिख कर भी बेरोजगार थे अब कौशल प्रशिक्षण हासिल कर विभिन्न नौकरियां करते हुए अपनी पहचान बना रहे हैं और ये सब मुमकिन हुआ है भारत सरकार की दीन दयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण कौशल्य योजना के कारण जिसके तहत 1217 कौशल प्रशिक्षण केंद्रों में ग्रामीण युवाओं को रोजगार आधारित प्रशिक्षण दिया जा रहा है कौशल पंजी ऐप में अब तक तेरह लाख बीस हजार ग्रामीण युवा अपना पंजीकरण करवा चुके हैं युवाओं को एजुकेशन के साथ ही स्किल की ट्रेनिंग मिले इसका ध्यान रखा जा रहा है आप भी कौशल पंजी ऐप द्वारा दीनदयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण कौशल योजना में रजिस्टर कर अपना कौशल निखारें और रोजगार पाएं। ग्रामीण विकास मंत्रालय भारत सरकार आज प्लास्टिक पोल्यूशन से नदी और समुद्र में मछलियाँ और कछुए मर रहे हैं और सड़कों आरोप मवेशी भी पर आप चाहे तो इसे रोक सकते हैं अपना डोनेशन देकर डोनेशन देने के लिए अगली बार जब बाजार जाए तो कपड़े या जूट का बैग साथ ले जाएं और प्लास्टिक का बैग इस्तेमाल ना करें आपका ये छोटा सा डोनेशन है पर्यावरण में बड़ा योगदान और यही है आपका ग्रीन गुड डीड ग्रीन गुड डीड मतलब कुछ हरे भरे काम अपनी धरती के नाम पर्यावरण वन एवं जलवायु परिवर्तन मंत्रालय द्वारा पर्यावरण हित में जारी The government has withdrawn security of five separatist leaders in the aftermath of the terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama district. According to an order, security cover for Mirwais Omar Farooq, Abdul Ghani Bhatt, Bilal Loan, Hashim Qureshi and Shabbir Shah has been withdrawn. According to the order, all security and vehicles provided to the separatists will stand withdrawn. No security forces or cover will be provided under any pretext to them or any other separatists. If they have any other facilities provided by the government, they are to be withdrawn forthwith. During his visit to Srinagar on Friday, Home Minister Rajnath Singh had said, security given to people getting funds from Pakistan and its snooping agency ISI should be reviewed. Meanwhile, curfew continued without any relaxation in Jammu city and its outskirts for the third day today. The army staged a flag march in sensitive areas. Talking to AIR News, Inspector General of Police, Jammu Division, M.K. Sinha, appealed to people not to fall prey to any rumors being spread by some vested interests. आज तीसरे दिन भी जम्मू में कर्फ्यू जारी है हालात में बेहतरी हुई है जिन लोगों ने कर्फ्यू का वायलेशन किया या किसी और भी तरह के कुछ वारदातों में जो शमूलियत कर रहे थे उनको आज हम लोगों ने अरेस्ट किया है कल भी अरेस्ट किया था और आगे भी जो की घटनाएं हुई उन सब में गिरफ्तारियां होंगी किसी भी र्यूमर का शिकार न बने और अमन चैन बनाए रखे The Home Ministry today rejected the media report that air transit facility on the Jammu Srinagar sector for CRPF troops were not allowed. It is termed the report is untrue. The ministry said over the last few years it had significantly enhanced the air courier services for central armed police forces in all sectors to help jawans cut down on travel time. The Central Reserve Police Force CRPF today cautioned people against fake pictures being circulated online of body parts of its jawans killed in the Pulwama terror attack. In a tweet, the CRPF said some miscreants are trying to circulate fake pictures of martyrs to invoke hatred. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh today accused Pakistan of engineering the Pulwama terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir. He was addressing a public meeting on the outskirts of Bhadrak town in Odisha, asserting that the security forces have been given a free hand to give a befitting reply to the attack. Mr Singh said the entire nation stands behind the army who would certainly teach the enemy a lesson. हम अपने सेना के सुरक्षा के जवानों को भूली इजाजत देते हैं कि हमारे सही जवानों का यह बलिदान यह व्यर्थ नहीं जा रहा है जो भी हमारे बहादुर जवान सही हुए हैं उनकी शहादत किसी भी सूरत में हम लोग व्यर्थ नहीं जाने देंगे Hundreds of people from all walks of life gathered at India Gate in Jantar Mantar in the national capital to hold candlelight marches to express solidarity with the families of the CRPF jawans killed in the Pulwama terror attack. As the protests continued for the third day today, police enhanced security in the city with special deployments in the protest areas. Several film bodies also held a protest against the Pulwama terror attack at Film City in Mumbai. 
BJP National President Amit Shah has said that the BJP is committed to making Assam free from illegal immigrants. Addressing a youth convention at Lakhimpur in Assam today, he assured that the BJP would not allow Assam to become a second Kashmir. You are listening to the news at 9 on All India Radio. Papa, Hamara Pakka Ghar Banjane Pan Naya Saman Logina. Kya kya chahiye Hamari Biti Arani ko? Hall mein rakhne ke liye television. Achha aur? Mummy ke liye kitchen ka saman aur 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 papa ghar ke andar ek toilet. Humko toilet ke liye bahar na jana pade. Zarur beti. Achha aur batao. Rani beti ko phele kya kya chahiye? Mere liye ek study table, chair aur kitabe rakhne ke liye ek almari. Ha, hamari beti padh likhkar badi officer banegi. क्यों रानी को झूठे सपने दिखा रहे हो अरे ये सच है ये देखो हमारा लेटर प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत अब हमारे पक्के घर का अधूरा सपना होगा पूरा सच जी हां अब सबके सपने हो रहे हैं पूरे प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत मिलने वाले घरों से लाखों लोगों ने अपने घर का सपना किया है पूरा अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने स्थानीय शहरी निकाय ऐसी संपर्क करें हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल सबके लिए घर ये हमारा सपना भी है और संकल्प भी है India and Iran delivered a stern message to Pakistan when External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj made a brief stopover in Tehran yesterday, days after both countries lost soldiers to attacks carried out by terrorists operating from Pakistani soil. Mrs. Swaraj met Iran's Deputy Foreign Minister, Sayyid Abbas Arakshi, while en route to Bulgaria as a part of a three-nation tour. In a tweet, Ms. Arakshi said, Iran and India suffered from two heinous terrorist attacks recently, which resulted in big casualties. He said both leaders agreed on close cooperation to combat terrorism in the region and asked Islamabad to take action against the perpetrators of these attacks. While India lost 40 CRPF Jawans to a terror attack carried out by Pakistan-based Jaisheb Mohammed in Pulwama on Thursday, Iran's Revolutionary Guards have accused Pakistan's security forces of supporting the perpetrators of a suicide bombing that killed 27 of its troops on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Iran today summoned the Pakistani ambassador to the country over the deadly terror attack on their security forces. Israel and Palestine have also condemned the Pulwama terror attack and expressed their condolences. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in India and abroad in his Man Ki Baat program of All India Radio on the 24th of this month. It will be the 53rd episode of the monthly radio program. India captain Virat Kohli remained on top while teammate Chiteshwar Pujara managed to hold on to his third position in the latest ICC Test Cricket rankings. Kohli is leading the chart ahead of New Zealand skipper Kane Williamson. The News Services Division of All India Radio in its weekly bilingual live phone-in program Public Speak tomorrow will bring you a discussion on Swine Flu Awareness and Cure. This can be heard on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9.30 p.m. And now before we close, the headlines once again. NDA government has initiated several development projects during its tenure to uplift all sections, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Inaugurates and lays foundation stones of a slew of projects in Bihar and Jharkhand. Prime Minister says, fire raging in the hearts of people over Pulwama attack is raging in his heart also. Government withdraws security cover to five separatist leaders in Kashmir. BJP committed to make us some free of illegal immigrants, says party president Amit Shah. India and Iran ask Pakistan to punish terrorists for recent separate attacks on security forces of the two countries. And in cricket, Indian skipper Virat Kohli maintains top spot in latest ICC test ranking. Chiteshwar Pujara holds to third position. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.